Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of Maluk Racer. We're gonna be jumping back into the game. It's been quite a while since I've played the actual game because, I, I don't know, I was just, you know, doing other stuff. Yeah, let's see how much more progress we can make. As you can see, I'm doing like kind of a new recording setup with using my actual webcam and I put on an outfit that I feel like is more fitting to the nature of this game. I'm dressing more like the guy in the actual game, so, you know, cosplaying is king. Let's get started. Hey everyone. Okay, so we're back in the game. I guess I don't need to say hey everyone because I've already made the intro. It looks like we're going into the Polish countryside uh, and this is gonna be... Oh fuck, it's been a long time since I've played this game. I forgot how awful the controls are. I think we're looking at a solid restart here, but... Great start. That's all I can say. This is boating very well. Oh yeah, these boys hell is cheating too. Motherfuck. Oh man, why are these... These cars have like fucking flypaper on them. You know that like tape cockroach trap? They're covered in this. Because you touch each other and you get stuck. This ain't good. This motherfucker is blocking my path, eat shit. Oh god, it's like impossible to go straight. <laughs> uh oh, I think we're merging. We are, we are merging. Shout out to the pixelated tree here, by the way, as I am being buttfucked by another Polsky Fiat. Let's restart number two. Numero dos. It's like, you know, people count deaths in Souls games. In this game, you s you just count your restarts because... Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I can't cheat. There's a fucking checkpoint there. That's what I get for cheating, I guess. Oh, by the way, the mirror. I discovered this feat. Okay. Listen, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna use my... Use this opportunity that I've been given. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. All I gotta do is... Navigate. Oh, please. What is it? Two laps. I think two laps of this level. I don't think I've actually managed to do a lap yet. Oh, look at... What is even happening? I feel like something has gone major, majorly wrong with our dear opponents. Do I mind? I don't mind. Man, this Polish countryside is awesome. I'm lapping these fools. Listen. Okay, interesting collision detection on that tree. It is three laps. Okay, it looks like our purple friend somehow managed to unfuck himself from the bridge he was merged into, but I am pretty sure this does not matter. Man, I want to take a look at those spectators. Beautiful. Beautiful. Always beautiful. I love this victory screen. All right, as you know, can't show the menu because it crashes the recording. So yeah, this is level number two. Let's see what we have. Oh, I thought they were gonna, I thought they were gonna fuck it up again. Oh, 27 checkpoints. How am I gonna make it through here? Interesting. I would have thought we'd need to go forward into the farm area through the gates, but I guess not. Oh man, this is gonna be a weird track. Oh, are you kidding me? 
Oh, please don't stick. Please, no. Oh, come on. See, this is the issue when we have become one with our opponent and now I'm stuck to the yellow one. Ah, oh, look at him. They're going underwhelmingly slowly. I guess it's just this kind of level. I'm gonna cut in. I'm not going to cut in. Again, some of the collision on these world objects is... Oh, are you kidding me? How the fuck am I supposed to guess I need to turn right there? It's the issue with not having a map and having just this, like... Hello? Um... Seriously. Objects in this game have very interesting collision. That's all I can say. I wonder if I can cheat. Oh fuck yeah, you can cheat. Listen. This is an illegal street race of Polsky Fiats. There are no rules. Except this has certainly turned very interesting. Can I please unfuck? I feel like this wasn't happening this much in the first episode. Like, I don't remember getting stuck to my opponents this often. But what I was gonna say is, you know, you can really tell the issues with not having an AI. Oh, these fucking trees are killing me. You know, it's kind of obvious that this game does not actually have driver's AI. These enemies, enemies, are... What the hell was that? My car locked up. I think I must have pressed something. Um, some button that I don't even know about. But as I was saying... Alright, you wanna play like that? We can play like that. As I was saying... Oh... Mm. You need a lot of patience for this game. Okay. He's stuck. I've got the lead. They're stupid. I don't know where to go. Oh, this is the start. Okay, cool. I think I'm in the lead. Comfortably. Excellente, excellente. Wonder if I'll ever be able to finish my point about the AI. Maybe I'll do it off screen. So essentially the problem is that because there is no AI, they do not react to you at all. Hence this merging issue. Listen, I'm not a game programmer, but I honestly don't know why the sticking happens. I guess, I guess because there is no like proper collision, uh, and because they are on like basically a track. I guess you just like get jammed together or something like that. I don't know. Somebody more knowledgeable, who's got the knowledge, explain, please. Okay, I think I'm coasting into a pretty solid victory here. This tree is killing me. The hitbox extends... Oh, nice horses. The hitbox extends like three meters out from it. Let's not even talk about those two trees. Nice fucking cigarette kiosk there. Shout out to these communist fucking newspaper stand slash cigarette shops. We know about that life. Actually, I don't, but it sounded good to say. Oh, God. I really appreciate that my enemies managed to absolutely fuck up 
their chances because this really does make this game a lot more comfortable. Okay, let's not go on the ground because it's like <laughs> Jesus. Congrats, boys. Congrats. Oh, and they just like become magically unstuck, but it basically doesn't matter at this point because I've lapped them. I guess they like get respawned when I pass them or something. It's the only thing I can think of. Beautiful. What else can I say? What else can I say? I want to check out this practice mode. I just noticed that I unlocked a new car. Some like purple. Oh, look at this thing. This is the turbo version. So this is practice mode and I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is this just free roaming? Holy shit, it's quick. It pushes me back into my seat. Jesus. The controls. See, I thought we'd have to go in here uh, initially in that previous race. I think my opponents were ahead of me because otherwise I would have just like straight up come in here. Oh, you know what we need to do? First of all, can we enter the church? No, we cannot. Man, GTA has nothing on this. Los Santos, get on the level of this game's world building. Okay, it's a nice Polish gentleman right there. We have two rando kids. A dude who looks like a child molester. Interestingly, these two people and him are actual models. Shout out to the Gucci slides. Not even slides, those are sneakers. And these three gentlemen are like cardboard cutouts. It's a very interesting uh, style of... I guess not enemy placement, because these are not enemies. Yeah, why is it that some, some of them have like legit models and then... I think we've seen that Polish gentleman before. Man, I sometimes I wonder where they get these pictures from. Boss. And that's the third time we've seen that gentleman. He's menacingly staring at us from all angles. And hey, we have... Even the businessman came out. Look at this football field. Nice. How hard is it to make a fucking football goal? That can't be that hard to animate in 3D, right? I like this mode. I am liking this mode. I can go backwards through the maps. It's crazy, you know. You get a whole different perspective. All right. A very interesting building. Oh, do we have another football field? That's not even... I thought I saw another one of those... Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Whatever. This car is awesome. We're gonna go with this car. But first, we gotta check out the horses. It's an excellent horse. A bit skinny, I think. Give that horse something to eat. It's gonna break under you if you're not careful. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, that's it. That is the end of Maluk Racer. How anticlimactic is that? It's hella anticlimactic, but literally the game breaks on stage three and I can't do anything about it. I've tried, you know, different kind of strategies, but it crashes and the issue is it doesn't even like just crash and I quit. 
it literally breaks my PC. I have to restart it. So I would rather not risk, you know, total meltdown Chernobyl style by trying to run this game. This is going to be a two-parter then, which is unfortunate because I wanted to play through this entire game, but you know. I'm surprised I even got this far, if I'm going to be honest with you, because some people online were saying you like put this game into your PC, like the CD, which I don't even have a CD drive, you know, listen, installing this game was like a whole other story. But anyways, people were like, even if you run this game, it like fucking blows up your PC and that has not happened, which I'm happy about. Hey, you got to see two levels of Maluk Racer. That's about it. Thanks for watching guys, as always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, make sure to hit the bell as well, and yeah, gonna be finishing Demon Souls tomorrow on stream, and I hope to see you there, and then more things are coming in the future. Peace out guys, goodbye.